Hello, this is our Commercial Pro 40 frame. It's a 40 mil hexagonal frame. I'm going to show you the components of it, how we open it, the top and the sides and everything through this video. So we're going to open it from the box now. This one is 22.5 kilos net weight. So it is manageable. It's our lighter frame of the two that we stock. So it comes with its own carrier bag on wheels. The frame is already zipped inside it when you get it out of the box. So there's two openings to the bag on the top and on the bottom. So you can kind of pocket the zip or pocket the shelter out. So just open it. Now, before I take the bag off, I'm going to show you that there is a compartment on the side of it. And in here generally stocked is your pegs, which are pretty heavy duty skewer pegs, your guy lines for when using this gazebo on grass, um, a small instructions picture, it's pretty vague but it's just a small little snapshot of how the shelter opens and these which I'm going to show you closer up later on, they're little um, hand thread screw balls which screw into top rivets in the frame through the canopies. Now these only work on the non-printed fabrics but I'll show you in detail how they go in. They're optional but they help keep the canopy on in strong winds or lifting off the frame. So I'm just going to pop the instructions. I'm going to keep them for the moment. And I'll pop the other bits and pieces back into our, our pockets. Now the bag is only there as a carrier bag, it's not there to lug all the weight or take all the, the friction, it's really just so that you can tow your shelter on the side, it comes onto two wheels and I can pull it along. Um, because it only has two wheels, if it rocks over, you will have to stabilise it again. Uh, there's a the carrier handles on the top and the same on the bottom. Uh, there's also a very large pocket here, which literally goes the whole length of the bag. This is designed for your canopy if you don't want to leave your canopy attached to the frame because uh, the canopy is the only part of the shelter that doesn't come with its own separate carrier bag. The sidewalls will have their own carrier bag also. So this is a big long kind of narrow bag that will give you the, the full length, so will give you nearly five foot in height um, of a place to put your canopy. So if I slide this off, I'm just going to turn the shelter upside down. So on the base of the bag there's another zip shelter to fall over there and just I'm just going to turn this back around. Now before I finish up with the bag there's a zip on the base as well. And if I open this up you will see there's a reinforced base part for the shelter frame. So that's your bag so you can literally pocket it back over this way when you're putting it back away and that will just slide down over the frame. So let's put this aside and then we just have these little plastic sleeves. brought up a yellow canopy to demonstrate. So to put the tops on the frame, doing it at this stage the material or the frame is too closed up so we're going to open it up a couple of feet. I'm sorry just for me putting the frame upside down. That's just slotted out of the position, there we go. So just enough before that spike starts to go up too high, we're just going to put the canopy on. So I'm just going to line up the corners. Each of the corners, if you can see, I'm going to show this in a video in a, in a shortly as well, there's Velcro pads on the corners of the shelter which line up with Velcro pads on the frame. So it just kind of keeps the material in place a bit. So the tops for our 
Pro 40, our commercial frame, they're 380 gram per square metre material. They're polyester with a PVC backing. So there's a rubber coating on the inside. There's a large Velcro piece. This is where the sides attach to the top. We'll show that again. The sides are made of the same grade of material. So it's pretty heavy. It's not going to be a light top to throw on. But we'll get it there. So if I line up my corners, it'll make it a lot easier. And the reason I did it this height, I can still get my hand over the middle section. This is where the peak would normally go, so I'm going to throw that onto the centre piece. And the final corner. So again, lining up the two Felco pieces with the canopy. And this is when the little screw balls or hand threads can come in handy. So they have their own little washer on it. They'll go through a pre-drilled or pre-done eyelet in the top of the material and down into a top rivet in the frame. And I'm just going to do one for now just to show you how it goes. And when I redo the images of these items, I'll show you all four. So there we go. And then we're just going to glide the frame open. So it's an accordion type frame. So I'll just pull apart as I walk it out. There's an angle on every corner with a little pin and ring system that clicks into place and I'll zoom in on them how they go. If the material is any way tight you can always take it off the corner, lock it into position and then bring the material back down over it if you find it's too hard to do it the other way. So I think we're all, we're all locked in. Now the shelter is only at half height and then we have five adjustable settings on the legs. So the minimum height of this shelter when it's up to its first setting is five foot nine and it goes up to max height of I think it's six point nine. I'll check the website now which all the information is detailed online. So whatever I do with one leg I make sure I have the same setting on the others. That's the shelter at half our full height. Uh, it's on its second position at the moment. I am about five foot six, so there's still a plenty of room above my head. We have three pegging points in each of the base plates of the shelter, so you can peg it down. Uh, if on tarmac, obviously it's a tent, so you would have to use some kind of weights. So we do supply optional weights to go with the shelters as well, which are designed for the diameter of the legs. Um, so it is a 40 mil aluminium frame. It's got a 1.5 mil gauge thick. It has cast alloy joints, which are six mil. There are the plastic angles here that are on the reinforcements here and the button clips in the base and on the top corner. And I'll focus in on those components later. And um, this is our lighter shelter. So for those who might have a bad back or find that the industrial model, which I'll show you next, is too heavy to lift, this is, this is ideal for you. For me, it's perfect. I'm not completely out of breath, but I do find it a little bit weighty to work with still. But I will show you the industrial later and you'll see how hard I find that one in comparison. Um, but if you're using your shelter five days a week, six days a week, then the industrial is the only one that would be suitable for that kind of longevity use. Uh, or if you're in particular windy parts of the country, you know your own area better than anyone else. But they do have wind limits on the shelters as well, which we have certificates for, and they're all on our website. The materials are completely waterproof and they're fire certified. So 
the fire certification really comes into work when you're using it at likes of a farmer's market or at a pub or restaurant or the likes of a ploughing exhibition and such. The fire officers on duty for those areas would require that you have a certificate for your shelter. So all our shelters that are sold for those purposes do come with a certificate. So we have three different certificates for our three different types of fabrics. The 380 gram fabric, which is with this material. The industrial does have a heavier material available for it, which comes in a 450 gram. And then we have digital printing material also, which comes with its own certificate. I'm just going to put the sidewalls on next. Um, they come in their own box. So I've just moved the location of the shelter. The camera couldn't get the peak at the height of the shelter, so hopefully you can see more of it now. We have our bag of sidewalls here. I got the yellow ones again. So they have their own zip carrier bag. It is a partially waterproof bag. It is PVC coated as well a bit, so if it does get a little bit damp, it won't dampen your sidewalls straight away. But because it's got PVC coating, you should not leave sidewalls which are damp inside this bag because it would not breathe. So these are all materials. They are polyester, so they have to be put away dry. We do <laughs> emphasize that to anyone that's buying the shelters that if their top is wet when it's going away, you need to let it dry out. You can't fold it up, put it back in a bag and forget about it. It's just like a tent. It would rot, it would mildew, um, it would be destroyed. So do take care of the material, do put it away bone dry. So the sidewalls come in a packet of four. We sell them or they come supplied now two plain, one with a zip up door and one with a window. Uh, the reason we don't do more with window was down to fire officers in Ireland only. Um, the PVC material in a window isn't got the same kind of grading for fire certificate as the polyester material does, so we had to bring back the PVC to just one panel. Um, so I'm just hoping that all zip together. It'll make life hard for me putting this on. Let's have a see. I don't know. So, if you can see against the yellow, the white Velcro tabs. So this lines up at the roof. You have to try and get it as close as possible to the corner because the sidewalls are designed to be snug fit on the shelters. They're not designed to be baggy. They're not to catch the wind or to belly the wind. So lining it up becomes a bit of a technique over time. So I'm going to line it up to the corner as best as I possibly can. I'm just bringing it around a little bit so I can see that it's coming around my shelters a little bit before I move on to the next one. So one side is on. Now they will hold completely on their own. There's Velcro tabs that will wrap around the legs and hold it in place when there's just one panel on and then when you have a second panel on they'll zip together. The sidewalls are also PVC coated so again totally waterproof just like the top. With polyester material it's actually dip dyed so the inside is the same colour as the outside always so the brighter colours will let more light through, the darker colours will obviously stop the light coming through so we do a lot of black, green and navies which are beautiful and very popular, but they will be darker, the, the yellow, the white, the greys, um, they'll all allow a lot more light through. So that's one panel on. That one is my plain one. Uh, this one has a zip door, so I want to do that one for a second. I put my window one to the back. Now because this is a 3 meter by 3 meter shelter, I can actually put the sidles anywhere I like. When you go on to the bigger size shelters, the panels will obviously come 3 meter panels, 4.5 meter panels and 6 meter panels, so less opportunities to move them around.
the taller you are, the easier it is. This must be an older set to the window. I seem to have two windows in this one, but it, that it has been a rollover change. It's because the yellow is not our most popular color, um, but the, the newer colors are definitely two plain, one window and one door. So it's very simple to just get them up into position. Zipping them together is a little bit more difficult. I'm going to show that in probably a closer video if I can. I'm just going to stick up the fourth panel. We'll cut it and we'll show the zips going on so that I can show you that they do attach because you won't see from there. Um, something that you might still see would be the likes of, um, there's a buckle here and this window disconnects piece so very well secured on so a lot of people buy these for changing rooms for athletic clubs and rugby, rugby clubs and youth clubs so if you are using it as a place to put the gear or for the, the club to change it will close off the window completely you can roll up and buckle away I won't do all of them, but let's give you an idea. Um, there is Velcro straps on the roof that attach to the canopy or around the frame, sorry, and back to the canopy. I don't like advising people to do this, but it is something the factory made, and I know oh, I'm a bit short. It's designed so your, your top doesn't flap around too much of the wind. It's disadvantage, especially in Irish weather, is because whenever somebody does it, so I attach it around my frame and back to itself, my canopy isn't moving anywhere anywhere now, but a lot of people forget to undo it when it's coming down and if they do they'll squeeze the frame back together the velcro will be still attached and it's quite a good grip on it that it, it's it's causing it to pull away from its material so whatever you do you undo um, is the only way it's kind of tip to be able to give you um, but there is also a couple of straps like this so I can go up around the frame and back to myself if I wish to do that and this is the one with the door. So you can see it connects on. Now, I am a bit tight here, so I have not left enough slack on the top as I have around here. So I'm going to have to undo the fell curve a little bit to give myself that room. To do that would just mean starting again. So I can either start the zipper from here which some people do is just attach this on first and then go in and attach it to the frame. I bet you I haven't left. So I'm going to have to do the same again here. So there is an act to it. I don't put the sides on too often. I suppose I demonstrate more. Uh, but those who do this very regularly probably come up with quicker tips. Another tip I've heard is you literally release the button clip from the inside corner, bringing the frame a little bit inwards, which reduces 
a little bit of the slack so that you can get the zip on and then you lock it again afterwards. I am going to zoom in now on some of the features, um, go through some of the components, zoom in on the Velcro tabs and the zips and such. But this is our 3x3 commercial Pro 40 shelter. Like I said, it's the 40 mil aluminium frame. Um, hope you like the video. We have more photographs online and more demonstrations to come. Okay, here's the commercial Pro 40 frame with the top and sides on. Managed to get the corner zips to line up. Took a few seconds. Uh, I've just rolled up the door and I'm just going to do a quick walk around here and show you some of the features I wasn't able to show from the video standing back. So um, let's walk through and see if we can see everything. So these are the front door buckles. So you can just roll them up. There's four of them just to keep the door toggled up. These are the zips for the corners. They go from top to bottom. We have our window with the curtain rolled up on the inside. The other window, which is, like I said, not on all the gazebos, is now two plane, one window, one zip up door. Our plane panel. yellow isn't too yellow now to look inside. So this is the components of the frame. So the bars are crisscrossed in the center. They're 38 millimeter in diameter. Uh, I think they still have 1.5 mil gauge as well, just as the uprights do. The components, like I said, were six millimeter, um, they're of course reinforced nylon, which is like a, a fancy word for a plastic, but they are very, very strong. The shelters all have a manufacturing warranty for a year, so we have all the parts for it here to replace anything that's needed in the shelter. And then we've been doing them for nearly 15 years, so we have all the parts to be able to do repairs for shelters that are as old as, as anything. Uh, you can drop it in for servicing. The repair for us to fix the free is free of charge, and then there's just a few costs involved if there's um, a few components that have to go into it. There is replacement materials in the roof and in the sidewalls. There's also half three meter sidewalls available for these shelters. Metal weights or concrete weights for the feet, like I had said. Um, we also do um, branding, which I'll show you in another video. We've even recently brought in an inner tent that can actually be hung into the inside of the frame. So it clips to the bars above, has a pure PVC base made of the same material as the sidewall, so it's completely waterproof. And it can be used as an emergency shelter, camp beds, or it can be put in, it can actually be slept in. Um, they are separate piece, they are, they are on our website as well. This is an inner tent. And I think they fit the two meter by two meter, the three by three and three by 4.5. The 3x3 comes in a range of colours. Um, they are listed on the website for the ones that we have in stock. So we stock about anywhere between 6 and 10 different colours at a time. Uh, if they run out, we can do them to order. And then with the branded options, they can air freight in any other colours. So we would have yellow, orange, purple, um, blue, green, red, white, navy, black, uh, royal blue, sky blue, lime green. The colour list goes on. I will try and list them on this video to give you an idea. Um, I'm going to go through some of the quick components now as I zoom in with another camera just so you can see them better, but I'm going to remove the sidewalls to do that. So these are the Velcro tabs that go around. They're pretty strong. They go around the sidewall so that you can hang just one sidewall on its own or you can double up when both sides are on. Then we have our zip, which I'll show you now. Let's see if we can get it. This is the zipper. I can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to have to stop the video. But that's the sidewall zip. And they are the same on all the corners. This is how the zips attach to each other on the corner. And you can see how the Velcro is to line up so that they meet. Now I said I'd show a video of the tapped rivet in the angle, so there is a trapped angle in there. The material then has an eyelet, 
prefixed into the material. It also has these Velcro tabs on the corners. If you can see now, this is on a phone, so apologies if the camera is a bit shaky, but there is Velcro pieces there that just line up with the angle. And doing it one handed is quite difficult. So this has a little washer, plastic washer on the end of it. And it just goes through the eyelet and into. Can I get that to line up now? Move my way around, got it. I don't want to cross thread it, so I just want to make sure I was definitely lined up, and I am. And that just hand threads down in. It stops any water then getting through the eyelet. The washer stops that. And the Velcro just helps the canopy to grip to the corner. So that's only on the non-branded material that those eyelets are, are applied. Now they're optional, because like, you don't have to use them if you don't want to. They just help to secure the top, and it's just an extra feature that comes with our models of shelters. There is tabs like this in the corner, this is where your guy lines can attach to. They are well reinforced to the fabric so they'll take a good bit of pulling. This is your Felcove material that um, allows your sidewalls to grip to the top. So this is the pin and ring system or ring pin. Uh, this is what allows the shelter to move up in height so we're on our third setting here. So literally it's just a matter of pulling the ring out and the shelter will automatically lock in the next one and let it go down to the next one again. Now if I leave the pin ring out completely, it will stay out until it finds a hole or drops right down to the bottom. So when it's at the bottom, it also has a lock position as well, which I'm going to dismantle now and show you how it goes down. Just going to show you really quickly how we dismantle the frame. So pulling on the pull ring system. It'll drop, it's right out of its foot, it's going to lock right down the corner. So just watch your head. And then just do the same on all four corners. So now we're at half height. So there is another ring just under the material. So I'm going to zoom in that now in a minute, but I'm just going to show you, just pull the ring out and pull down on the frame. So if I lift off the cover a little bit, you'll get a better look. So pull on the pull ring and the angle will just slide away from its lock position. And then we're just going to walk the frame in. If you're on muck, you may have to lift it a bit, but on solid ground it's very easy to slide together. And that's your 3x3 commercial comp frame compacted. Now we would um, leave your canopy on if you want, if it's dry. You can put it back into the carrier bag on wheels and it will hold it with the material on once it's squeezed nice and tight. If you find it's too bulky, just remove the top and put it into the sleeve bag or sleeve pocket on the bag like I showed earlier. And then the top will fit no problem. Uh, another knack or tip to help it go into the bag is if you put a black sack over the top at this point, the fabric against the fabric of the bag will slide a lot easier, it won't, uh, won't get stuck on your way down onto it. Um, I might show it going back into the bag in another video in, in another while.